And we're back to the Trouble Center side quest. This one in particular, I mean, it's pretty, uh... What's the word for it? It's a little, like, concerning. Not as a... In terms of, like, storyline and in terms of how you want to do this quest. So, let's just accept this last one. Help my daddy. Oh, my dad is in a world of hurt down there. Please, you've got to help him. I'm waiting at the entrance to the pit of 100 trials beneath Rogueport. Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know about the pit of 100 trials, it's basically 100 floors of enemies, and you have to fight them all in a Paper Mario-esque style. In Super Paper Mario, they made it a little easier since, you know, all you have to do is just jump on an enemy and then, you know, enough times and they'll die. So it was a little bit easier. It was a matter of, you know, finding the key and then moving on to the next floor. In this case, in order to move on in the Pit of 100 Trials, you have to beat all your enemies. And as you go lower into the, you know, lower in the levels, like in the 80s and stuff, the enemies will get more difficult. But in the first 20 or 30, people are usually able to handle them themselves. Um, in this side quest, you can make the decision to continue down the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, what I would recommend, if you are going to do that, make sure your party members have the Shine Sprite thing done, because I forgot to do mine. But I'm going to have to do that in a, uh, another video, or in the continuing on in the story video. I'm going to have to upgrade them then. Um, but yeah, you can go down. I would go down to about 50, because at level 50 you get a, a nice item that lets you hold up to 20 items, which wasn't introduced um, in the previous Paper Mario, so it'll be helpful for you there, but the thing is, down there in the 50s, it gets way more difficult than you imagine. I think this is Pine Tea. Oh, and if you don't talk to him, you don't get the quest, so you might want to do that. You took on my trouble? Oh, thank the stars. This is terrible. My dad went into the pit of a hundred tiles and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. But I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. Oh, that's adorable. Well, I think... We might need Goombella, since we're going to be fighting a whole bunch of enemies that we might not be familiar with. <laughs> and it's just easier to do that than to wait later on. There we go. Getting first strikes here is, you know, helpful. It's, okay, let's see what enemy. This is a Gloomba. A cracked out Goomba. Seven, attack is three. Yep, it's way stronger than a normal Goomba. That's it. It doesn't mean it's sick or anything. I mean, it might be. You know, absorbing all these uh, hazardous materials into your system. It might, you know, raise some things here and there. So, yeah, I'm probably going to keep Goombella out for the remainder of the trouble. Spin the... Uh, Oh, just come here. Oh, just stay still. Thank you. Well, he's dead. Uh, can we call out Coops? Yeah. I don't know. Get hype! <laughs> he died. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think... Yeah, badges do stack in this game. I was, I was always wondering about that. I kind of just put two on out, out of a whim. But they do stack. And I think if maybe... If two pretty luckies and then once in a while, you know, they miss. What if you put on maybe like four pretty luckies? Would that make them like miss all the time? It would help, but I mean your partner would be taking all the damage. I don't know. It'd be interesting, because I know if you make a Danger Mario and you put close calls and pretty lucky zone, you'll def they'll definitely be missing a lot. So, yeah. Then again, some people find that boring, just having the enemies always miss. And stuff. I don't have the spiky jumps, so I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. We didn't tattle on these, uh, Spanias. What's Spania? That's spinning, it's spinning up with spikes. Same thing, you just can't jump on it. Let's go Quake. 
Since it's flying, there's three enemies now. Um, oh, never mind. Everyone's dead. That's good. And I leveled up. I will level up my hearts. Usually I'd like to keep things even. Some people like to go BP only, FP only, HP only. I like BP, but I'm gonna have to go in order, so thus far I'm gonna have to go in order. And the way to track it is to, you know, keep track of your stats in the beginning. You start out with 10 hearts, 5 flowers, and 3 batch points. Now I'm at 20 hearts, 15 flowers, and 9 batch points. Next one I will be upgrading will be badge, because, you know, love badges. Uh, I think I can just switch in the coops. Not fooling anyone. <laughs> Vault Shroom. Ooh, that is, that is a little troublesome. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna go have to, gonna have to annihilate you. Sorry about that. I regret not leveling Koops up. I regret it so much. I might go back to the Pit of 100 Trials to train a little bit before a certain chapter. Vault Shroom. Oh, I missed a coin! Fuzzy. This is this is funny. Wait. Ah. Oh, you can hit coops off the wall and then. All right. I'm gonna have to kill that fuzzy in cold blood, and then the Gloomba's gonna waste the turn healing himself, which is dumb, but he does what he wants. <gasps> I took damage. I need this. You know, immediately. Not really though. Yeah, that's hilarious. That, that won't get old anytime soon. Yep. Can we bring the hype? Yes, we can. We have brought the hype. Come on, fill the crowds. Max of 50 people so far, but as we level up, we gain popularity, and then we're going with the superstar statuses. I don't know what's the highest. Oh, wow, he attacked the Koopa. I'm backstage. That's interesting. Yeah. That's also interesting. Let's go. People like killing things dead, I just like getting it over with. Yep. HP drain. Yep, that'll help. Oh, so now we've arrived at the 10th floor, and we get Sleepy Stomp, which is pretty good if you're a hunter of badges and stuff. I think Pinty's dad is around the 18th or so floor, so right before the 20th. Alright, finally we found that guy, and like I said, at level 18, you know, he'll be here. Oh, what? Who are you? Wah! Wow, did you come here to save me? Really? Pinty Jr.? Wow, good. <laughs> wow, good. I have to get back alive. Show me the way out. Yeah, now he'll follow us. And if you don't talk to him, guess what? He'll stay there. Um, pretty much realistic quest. And he's gonna sit in that corner while we beat up all these bad guys. And I did manage to tattle on quite a few of them, because I didn't think it'd be this long, but it was pretty, pretty, uh... Pretty uh, time consuming trying to go through all these people. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I, was off of poop, but... I didn't even matter. Okay. Back to square one. Except more stop. Let's see. Yeah, well, that did matter. Okay. We'll just keep flirting up there. Nasty face she's making, but that's okay. There we go. I think the next floor is the last one. I hope it is. Okay, let's go. I mean, you know, you're pretty impressive for getting to at least 20 floors or 18. Two more, and you would have <laughs> gone out and made the mistake. Hey, the exit. Okay, Pinty Jr., I'm on my way home. Now, in this treasure chest on the 20th floor, we get Fire Drivu. Now, that helps out sometimes. 
but if enemies are immune to fire, then fire drive is useless. Uh, basically a better version of Quake Hammer. To an extent. My dad's back. Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family are really the most important things, you know? I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad, so here. A gambling card. Now, if you'll excuse us, and really thank you so much. You know, for saving your life and everything. And you gave me a card that I can use at the piano parlor. Which is, you know, it's alright. If you like that kind of thing. I'll just go back to, uh... To Rogueport. Maybe I'll upgrade the party members. Because, <laughs> really, I should have done that a while ago. And I probably could have kept going. But... The way they are now, I don't think. That'd be a challenge mode, but the way they are now, I couldn't really do much with them. So I'll do that before I, uh, you know, save and move on to the chapter three, which is my favorite chapter. Glitzville. Nothing but fighting. Nothing but fighting. None of this encounter, none of this fetch quest, just fighting. Honest to goodness. Brawling with enemies in an arena full of people screaming your name, and of course, a little side note to do before you actually fight. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and do this now. Okay, yeah. Uh, power coops. Make them a little stronger. Shazibi. Shazubi, then he's gonna hit me with the cosmos real quick. He's just thinking about it. He's like, do I really want this power-up? Well, I mean, you're right behind me, and I already paid for it, so you're getting power. Yeah, here's the item. I guess. Can I power-up more? Yeah, sure. Get Metal Flurry up there. Yes, you shall. Please do. Shazubi. Shazubi. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, that's quite... Hmm. I don't know... Hmm. Well, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> then you may go. She has a lot of health. It's great. She'll definitely be helping out a lot. Moving on. I'll save here, and we'll be continuing through the story after this. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.